use of sterile technique with folly catheter insertion. By Danielle Swindler in Epidautry. What is indwelling catheter? An indwelling urinary catheter is a drainage tube that is inserted into the urinary bladder through the urethra, is left in place, and is connected to a closed collection system. Indications for an indwelling catheter include short term for acute urinary retention, sudden and complete inability to void, need for immediate and rapid bladder decompression, temporary relief of bladder outlet obstruction secondary to enlarged prostate gland, urethral stricture, obstructing pelvic organ prolapse, urologic or prolonged surgical procedure, irreversible medical conditions are present, metastatic terminal disease, coma, and states of other conditions presence of stage 3 or IV pressure ulcers that are not healing because of continual urine leakage. Complications associated with catheterization include, catheter-associated urinary tract infections associates increased morbidity, mortality, hospital costs, and patient length of stay. Nesocomial urinary tract infections range from $1,200 to greater than $2,700 per reported cases, ultimately costing healthcare systems more than $400 million annually. Gather supplies needed including, sterile gloves, drape, sponges, aseptic or sterile solution for the urethral cleaning, lubricant jelly. Expert opinions indicate there is no advantage in using antiseptic preparation for cleansing the urethra before catheter insertion. Urethral trauma and discomfort will be minimized by cleansing with sterile single-use lubricant or anesthetic gel. Proper techniques for urinary catheter insertion. Perform hand hygiene immediately before initiating procedure and completion. Do not contaminate sterile field. Don't turn your back. Keep sterile gloves above waist after donned. Maintain all supplies within reach. If breaks occur in aseptic technique, replace the catheter and collection system using aseptic technique and sterile equipment, aka, start over. One hand should remain sterile during procedure for retrieval of supplies from sterile field. Properly secure catheter after insertion to prevent movement and urethral traction. Universal maintenance techniques. Maintain a closed drainage system. Position the closed drainage system below point of urinary bladder. Use standard precautions, including the use of gloves and gown as appropriate, during any manipulation of the catheter or collecting system. Unless clinical indications exist, do not use systemic antimicrobials routinely to prevent catheter-associated urinary tract infections in patients requiring either short or long-term catheterization. Routine irrigation of the bladder with antimicrobials is not recommended. Clamping and welling catheters prior to removal is not necessary. Do not clean the polyurethral area with antiseptics to prevent catheter-associated urinary tract infections while the catheter is in place. Routine hygiene is appropriate. Cleansing of the metal surface during daily bathing or showering. Quality improvement programs are programs or strategies designed to enhance use of indwelling catheters and reduce the risks of catheter-associated urinary tract infections based on facility risk assessment. Purpose of quality improvement programs. Appropriate utilization of catheters. Identify and remove catheters that are no longer needed, limiting use and duration to situations necessary for patient care. Ensure adherence to hand hygiene and proper care of catheters. The source of microorganisms causing urinary tract infections can be endogenous via metal, rectal, or vaginal colonization, or exogenous, contaminated hands of healthcare personnel or equipment. Goal, provide and implement evidence-based guidelines that address catheter use, insertion, and maintenance.